Hey guys. So it is a lovely rainy day and I have a free day. I've kind of given myself to de-stress, decompress. And I think I'm gonna go look at some cacti and some plants and you know, things I am less likely to kill. But I thought I would take you along with me because I love little plant sections and I thought I can do some creative things. Uh, quick mention, because I forgot to say it in my last vlog because I forgot that it was going up on my main channel. I'm just putting some vlogs up on this channel to see how everything fares, see how they're accepted. I would really ultimately love to put them on this channel, but we'll just feel it out a little bit. I love the rain. Okay, see you close. garden area entrance closed. I'm a little bit wet. <laughs> but I came out with some plants. One, which was the big one that I should not have gotten, but it was like exactly what I have had pinned for a long time. It's something I've wanted because it involves a lot less light. I thought it would be appropriate for my room because I usually have my blinds and curtains drawn. I don't like the sunlight. Um, but it involves a lot of watering, which I think that's why I kill most of my plants as I overwater them. Only reason I've been able to keep cacti alive I think is just because I tell myself, don't water it at all, don't water it at all. <laughs> and uh, then I usually just do it like once a week. Anyway, I ended up getting it. I forget what its name is actually called, but visually I recognized it. And I ended up getting a maiden hair fern, which I probably should have put back too, but it was just under $4 and I thought, just do it. My father's actually out of town right now and he always judges me when I buy plants because I always kill them. But I want to try to get better. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? Dang, I my teeth. This lipstick like is getting everywhere as you can see on like my fingers. It's a ColourPop Ultra Matte one, which they're not ultra matte. They transfer on everything, so I don't really like using them. I try to only wear them on days that I don't care that much. Also, I do appreciate the hair. Yeah, I went out in public like this. Yes, I brushed it like this morning, but then I gave up halfway through the day wearing it down because it needs to be washed. So I put it up. I'm very happy with my purchase. I got that very pleasing mathematical cactus. You know what I mean? Like it's just super like equal across everything and it's like this spiral of just oh, so pleasing, so satisfying. So I went ahead and got that because that was one I actually had specifically in mind. I wanted something small or succulenty to fit in this one cactus pot that was like hand painted that I got at that one cactus place. Specifics. Anyway, so I need one that was very short with not very many roots when I get home. I just realized I forgot to buy soil. Okay, so here is the pot that I was talking about. It doesn't have little pre-done holes. I was supposed to buy one of those things that go into it. It's misleading because it looks like it has a little bottom but it doesn't. So I'm going to MacGyver something. Is diaphragm bad for plants? Probably. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to MacGyver this and I don't know where my scissors are. So. All right, perfecto. So now I have this. I'm going to violently stab it. It's like a little bow tie. And it looks like this. I think I'm not doing terrible. Uh, I'm going to show you my love though, the one that I'm so excited that I got. This lady. She is, ooh, what are you actually? What is your name? Pilia, or, oh wait, that's in Spanish. Yeah, Pilia. Origins in Vietnam. I think she is so beautiful. She was $15. Uh, yeah, it's called Exotic Angel Plant. I want to name her. I think she's so beautiful. It says that she needs temperature 65, 80 degrees. Water usage is high, which is good because I, I love my plants too much. Indirect sunlight, good because I was thinking about keeping her in my room on a bookshelf. I want to have a plant like this that drapes like this on a bookshelf. I think it's so beautiful. I think I'm gonna keep her down here for uh, right now though, but I think she's gonna live with me in my room. Most of my plants live downstairs. Come here. This is a maidenhair fern, a rosy maidenhair fern, and I'm going to name her Offred. Real name her, yeah, no, Offred. I'm gonna name her Offred. <laughs> I was like, maybe not, and I'm like, no, it's perfect. That's what I thought of. It's very long, spindly stems and very floaty, and I'm hoping that 
maybe it will grow outward and be very drapey like this. I vaguely remember maiden hair ferns being like that. I didn't look up to see if any of these were poisonous to cats because I think, well, the cactus, they wouldn't be able to eat it, so I think we're okay. Um, this I was planning on keeping too high up anyway for them to get to. And if this one is poisonous, I will keep this one up really high so they can't get to it either. I didn't feel like looking it up because I was choosing a lot of my plants based on if they were poisonous or if they weren't, which I think is smart. But then I kind of thought, I have places that are really high up that the cat cats can't get to, so I can just put them up there. So I will probably catch up with you when I have soil. I'm currently covered in dirt. I had some chamomile growing in this pot, but I think I used a soil that was too rich for it, so I was only getting a couple budlings. So I moved it to this giant pot, which is much too big for it, uh, and I'm gonna go buy some more seed. But I have one little bitty budling, and I put new soil in it, and I mix some of the old soil, like the top part where the seeds still probably were, in hopes that somehow they might start blooming. So that is what I have done. I have created a very large mess. Oh, Dad's coming back. Right now? Yeah. Shit. I mean, he's not gonna be back because he's gonna have to sleep. But he's gonna be back tomorrow. I told you he would never do two mountains. Yeah, I guess you're right. So I'm gonna move this pot out of the way. I'm going to plant Offred in this little Ikea pot, even though it's not as pretty as this one. Sorry, it's really dark. I need to turn the light on. So, um, like I was saying, this plant, very pretty. I think this would look better with the white buds of chamomile. Um, I just got some standard potting mix. Uh, I have some fertilizer in this pot, and I'm gonna do a little mixy medley. Get a pre-swirl a hole, and then you're supposed to squeeze it like this so that it's easier to come out. Don't know if I'm even doing this right. I'm just gonna... Ha ha ha! Then just kind of use your fingers and massage it. And then take notice of where the soil was stopped about right here when she was in the planter, and fill up around and to that point. And now my fingers are very dirty, but she is done. And this is her temporary home for now until I find something really pretty and ceramic for her. This will work while she grows. Oh, what I have done. Okay, so I took the soil out of the thing. It looks like this is really thick and moist. And it doesn't look like my previous cactus potting soils. So I'm like a little bit nervous, but the guy said that it was the right one. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my regular stuff on top just because it's a little bit drier. Now I'm going to take tongs because they are your best friend, friend when planting cacti. This one isn't particularly pokey anyway. I don't like to get the kind that are really pokey, like see, because uh, my cats rub their face against it because I have one that is like soft bristled and so they think they're all like that. Hopefully you could read that. It's refusing to focus. Mammillaria along. I can't see it. And then same concept. Look how symmetrical that is. Oh. So pleasing, it's like a repeating pattern. This one was really packed in there, poor dude. I think that's good enough. Use the tong and, ooh, that bug's back, that scared me. Use it to circulate it into the dish because this is a smaller dish. Um, hold it straight and then kind of press all the soil in around it. There you go. Now I finally have a little home for this guy. I've been wanting to use this. I got it at Cactus King in Houston here. I'm pretty sure they were all hand painted. There was a whole mess of them. And we asked the guy what the price was and we probably could have got it for cheaper, but I think I paid like three bucks, but it's hand painted and it is very one of, one of a kind. They were just, I don't know, I loved it. Um, I need a little name for this guy. I'm thinking about naming him something mathematical or like repeating pattern or something. It'll come to me. And I'm not gonna do anything with Pelia. I don't really know what to do with her yet. I definitely don't think I wanna hang her. I'm probably just gonna disconnect her little hangy bit. I might get some kind of thing that starts with an M that I can't think of right now. It's like that woven thing that plants hang on. But for right now, I think I'm going to have her as like a bookshelf plant. This is a little like out of the ordinary for me. I'm normally not like big into plants and stuff. I'll usually, usually do this like maybe two or three times a year because I kill everything and then I get disheartened. But I'm gonna hopefully <laughs> and keep them alive. I will keep you updated. So I'll see you next time.